It's summertime on campus, my favourite time, because no one is here. Undergrads are on a break and I can move around campus unimpeded. ANU is a huge campus, so instead of owning a car and trying to find a park, I get around on my electric bike. First stop is the physics building, where my office is. This is the ion accelerator, and these are tanks of liquid nitrogen and helium, which people use to cool down their experiments. This week I've been helping my supervisor to put together a grant proposal for a new piece of equipment, essentially an upgrade to an existing microscope so that we can apply forces to cells and see how they respond and stiffen under that pressure as a way to protect themselves. That is essentially what I do. I poke plants to see how they defend themselves from pathogen attack. So I sent some emails, did some paperwork, and also read some papers. In one of my last videos, I said that one of my resolutions was to read a lot more. Here I am using Mendeley to keep track of papers I find interesting. The really relevant stuff I will print out and go through. At lunchtime I went to a dance class at the gym which I really love and since it's close to the biology building I then popped over to grow some seeds. These are seeds I have prepared earlier but I need to move them to a constant temperature room for five days so that they can grow. These are some from a while ago that I never used and need to throw out. I sit the seeds upright so they grow flat towards the overhead light source. The plants are genetically modified to fluoresce with jellyfish DNA, so these are off to the hazard bin. Since my background is in physics and not biology, I also went to the library to get out some things that might help me. The uni is a bit of a construction zone at the moment. They have demolished the main student area and are currently building a new one. In the meantime, they have lots of food trucks on campus. Having done my undergrad degree in post-earthquake Christchurch, I am no stranger to construction zones and pop-up spaces. The rest of campus is pretty nice. There are plenty of wholesome critters around. In the evening, I went to a talk by Duncan Haldane, who shared the 2016 Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on topological matter. He is visiting from Princeton and gave a talk about how topological properties, such as how many holes a material has, do apply to materials at the quantum scale. It's really cool stuff. Of course, I then put this video together for you. I hope it gave a bit of insight into my life as a grad student. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.